Hey guys, Kelly Fab here, and today I am going to be doing my Project Pan finale. I know it's past the end of the year, but guess what? Holiday season is a very, very busy season for me and my family, so I am going to be showing you guys all of the products that I used up, all the ones that I made progress on, and all the ones that really didn't get much use at all. So, I feel like I did pretty pretty good. I mean, not as good as I feel like I probably could have done, but nonetheless, let's get into it and let me show you guys how good and bad I did. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to start with my Too Faced Beauty Wishes and Sweet Kisses palette. I have come to love this palette because here is my progress on it. I really, I didn't hit pan on anything, which is a little bit sad, but I've been using this bronzer as my transition shade. Well, this one all over my lid to set my primer down. This color as my transition shade. This one as my outer third or outer two thirds. And then this one as my inner third. And I love the look that I come up with. And I do the same one every single time. And people always, and I'm telling you, always compliment me on this look. So. I'm actually excited to put this back in my collection. I'm not, I mean, I have a huge, huge dent in this dark color here, which is hot chocolate. And then I have a pretty decent dent in creme brulee, but honestly, I'm not sad that I didn't finish this because I really enjoy using this. It's super travel friendly. I've dropped this about a hundred times on like concrete and it doesn't break. So really happy to have this in my collection still. This is one that I started the project with. If you guys have been watching me all year, you will know that this was one of my original projects or products that I had in this project. It is the White Citrus Body Lotion by Bath & Body Works. And I actually brought this to work and then I lost it. <laughs> And then my girlfriend at work is like, oh yeah, that lotion that was in your project pan, I found it. She's like, look here. And I was like, okay. And I went and I looked and I couldn't find it. So I'm like, somebody probably threw it away. Not a big deal, whatever. And then all of a sudden she had it again. And I was like, what? So I didn't actually start using this. This was the March mark and that was when I lost it. So I had all of this to use up in December because that's when I actually brought it home. And I have about one more use in here for my whole body. So I feel like I did really, really good. I've never actually finished one of these completely. And this will be done by probably my next shower, which is probably going to be today or tomorrow. So yeah, I'm really happy to have that done. Okay, now I'm going to go through the products that I finished completely. Here we go. So I added this in my last time and it is the Davidoff Cool Water, the women's scent. And my first mark was up here. My second mark was right here. And now I have it completely gone. I did like the scent, but it wasn't very moisturizing. I wouldn't purchase again. Then I used up the Love Spell Fragrance Mist by Victoria's Secret. I love this. Here was my February, June, September, October, and then I finished it up. So I was happy to use that up. I would repurchase this at some point, but not right now. I have tons of them. Then I used up this Pixie Hydrating Milky Mist. This was February, August, September, October, and then I used up all of that in October. This little bit left down here, I can't get it out, and the sprayer sucked on this. Like, <laughs> I was really, really upset using this because I would have to spray it on my face and then I'd have to rub it in because the sprayer sucked. So I wouldn't repurchase that. I did like it though, to be honest. Then I decided to call these two lip glosses from ColourPop quits because this one the formula changed a lot and it is the sheer color in Abu and I really really did like it but the formula changed so much I just I couldn't use it anymore and then this one was like chunky <laughs> by the end of it you can see how much I ended up using it's like down to here so I feel like I used almost all of it. This is my first mark and this is my second mark. So I feel like I got a lot of really good use out of this. And this one's in the shade WeHo and it's a cream finish. I just, when it gets down to the end like that with those ColourPop ones, they get like almost like gritty on your lips. And I didn't, I'm not into that look. So yeah, I'm calling those done. And then I also finished up the ColourPop brow pencil in the shade Dope Taupe. I finished this up 
the day after my last update so <laughs> I have been not using any brow pencils at all I've only been using a brow powder and I've been happy with that so I do have another one of those but I don't think I'm gonna repurchase just because I don't feel like I need it then I finished up the Promise Organic Nourishing Coconut Milk Facial Lotion with Hibiscus. I think I added this in two times, two updates ago. This was my first mark, this was my second mark, and it is completely gone. I squeezed out every last ounce of this. Like, I squeezed it so hard I actually hurt my finger. So, I really did like using this. I used this as a nighttime moisturizer, and it was really, really nice. Then I also used up the Tightline Mascara by It Cosmetics. I really miss this because it's the perfect lower lash mascara. That's the only thing I used it for. I do have a full size back above this. So once I get finished up with the rest of these mascaras, I am going to get out my lower lash mascara because I have really missed it. Like more than I want to admit, I've missed it. I also used up this Clinique Black Honey lip whatever. I just, I hated this. Okay, so I used this up a week after my last update. It was really, really moisturizing and nice. I would put it on right when I got home from work just because the stain color that it gave me was terrible and it clung to my dry spots on my lips. So like my dry spots would have like a lot of pigmentation because of the color and then the rest of my lips would just kind of look like very flushed. I don't know. I just, I didn't like it at all, but it was very moisturizing. So if I got another sample, I'd probably use it, but I won't ever purchase this like ever. Maybe in a different color, but honestly, it didn't sell me by that sample. Let's just say that. On to the rest of the products that I didn't finish up. <laughs> so first off is this Victoria's Secret Energized Body Mist. I've been using this like crazy. This was my September mark, and this is my October mark. And I honestly have maybe three days left of this spray if I spray it on myself every day. It's like almost gone and the scent is getting a little weird so I can tell that it's getting too old so I'm happy to use that up. Then I have my ColourPop Dreamcatcher Highlighter. I've used this quite a few number of times. Um, it really looks great on my skin especially if I'm going for like the no makeup makeup look and I'm happy to have it still in my collection so it's not going to go anywhere. I really do like it. And then I finally hit pan on the butter bronzer. I can't remember if I had pan last time or not, but look how much pan is on there. Like, I really feel like I did a good job on this one. And especially the fact that it was too light for me, so it just kind of gave like the wrong shade. Um, yeah, I'm really happy about my progress. I am gonna put this back in my collection, but yeah, I did like it, but I kind of hated it. I don't know, I have a love-hate relationship with this. I can't tell what I feel like, so that's gonna go back in my collection. Then, more exciting progress on my Dandelion Blush by Benefit. It's just like a little, little travel size. I have a huge pan in there now. Like, holy crap, huge pan. I'm so excited about this. And yeah, I'll finish using it up probably by the end of this year, 2018. And. Oh God, it still smells so good. I can tell that this has not gone bad because the smell is so delicious. Okay, I need to stop. Anyways, this is going back in my collection for sure. Then I have the Elizabeth Mott Show Me Your Cheeks blush in the shade Peach Pink. Oh my God, I forgot. So when this got down really low, it like broke apart. So let me just dump that out. So this is all of the product that I have left in here, which isn't much at all. And then I have a little bit in my hand. So I'm probably gonna break this up and repress it back in here, but I'm gonna keep this until I completely use it up. It's so close and I just can't imagine throwing this away because it's such a good blush. Like literally, if you've never tried the Elizabeth Mott blushes, you should try this one. It's like the best blush topper. Like I won't use this all over my cheeks, but I'll use it just on the apples just to give myself a little bit of glow. I love this. So good. Definitely going back in my collection after I repress it. And something I didn't have on my last update, but I found it. It was in my gym bag, by the way. It is the Vaseline Lip Therapy in Rosy Lips. And look at all that pan. I've been working on the sides for a long time and then finally I was like, screw it. 
I am gonna hit the pan in the center. And then once I hit the pan, I've just been working on those edges. So yeah, I'm gonna keep using this. This will probably last me another two months at least, but I've been really enjoying this. I, I'm kind of sad that I lost it for so long because I feel like I could have used it up if I hadn't had lost it. Then I have the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Girly, and this is the prod or product. This is the progress I have on it here. Um, I love using this, but I can tell that the formula is definitely drying out. So when you press into it, it's very hard to get product. I do have a backup of this, so I think I'm gonna use it for another couple months and then toss it because it's just not gonna be good much longer. Then a couple more products that I just knew by a couple months in I wasn't gonna be able to use up are the, they're both from Maybelline, they're both the concealer. So this is the Dream Lumi Concealer in the shade Ivory. I still have quite a bit. Honestly, I probably have another year out of here the amount that I wear concealer, which is like nothing. So that's going to go back in my um, collection. And then I have the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser. Honestly, I just didn't wear this that much either. I don't wear concealer. I don't need it. And it really creases on me and it makes me look old. <laughs> To be completely honest, that's why I don't wear it. It just looks so cakey and creasy and I just, I don't like the look. But I am going to keep this. I really do like this and yeah, I'm going to put it back in my collection for when I will or would, I don't know, maybe when a friend comes over and I can do her makeup or something. I don't know. Those are excellent concealers. I just, I don't use them that much. So I'm going to keep them in my collection, but I just don't use them. All right, I want to talk about all of these... What are these called? Why can I not think of the names? Mascaras, my goodness gracious. So the Roller Lash, I only used a couple times. I definitely still have some more uses in it. Gonna go back in my collection. This Lancome is like the never ending mascara. <laughs> like, I thought it was almost gone and then I let it sit for like two days and I used it again today and it's just beautiful. I love this mascara. Honestly, I wanna buy a full one or a full size one when I'm done with this one, but I'm gonna use this one a couple more times. Then the CoverGirl Super Sizer, this one's almost gone as well. I probably only have a few more uses in that. And then my two Maybelline Great Lash Mascaras. I was using the brownish black on days where I had no makeup on. I just curled my eyelashes and put a little bit on just so my eyes would look a little bit more awake. But it's perfect for that because then it's not too black and it doesn't look too fake, you know? So I was using that for that. And then the Very Black one, I usually combine with another one so like I would use the roller lash and then I would use this one for my bottom lashes and my upper lash I don't have any of my bottom lashes today just because I wasn't in the mood for it but yeah I still have some use left on my mascaras I tried my best but I know you're supposed to throw them away after three months but they're not irritating my eyes at all and they're working fine so I might as well try to use them right and then I have my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow, Pro Glow Foundation in the shade 202. And I really do like this. I only got use out of it four or five times for the whole year. So this is just going to go back in my collection. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, it is the right shade for me. I just, I don't wear liquid foundation very much. And I have a liquid foundation that I've been wearing. And it's perfect. It's actually the foundation I have on my face today and you guys will hear about it soon. So one product that's going to be going in the garbage because I said it was going to be if it was not finished is the Jane B Pure Mineral Blush in the shade, gosh what shade is this, Rose Satin and I do have a bit of pan on there if you guys can see right there. Yeah I mean this is a beautiful blush to be totally honest but I just I have so many other blushes that I love and enjoy and I'm gonna throw this away. It is probably about 10 years old to be completely honest, which is a little gross, but I did enjoy it using it and I enjoyed hitting pan on it, but I am gonna call this done. Then I have my Ulta Mineral Setting Powder. I, ooh, I love this setting powder. I got quite a bit of use out of this. There's even more done than the lines show. But yeah, when I was using liquid foundation, I was using this to set it and it really sets my face beautifully. It is like the perfect shade for me because it's not white. 
and for some reason white powders just look white on my skin I think it's because I'm a little bit tanner than being like porcelain or very very light um, which is fine but yeah, I really did enjoy using this and I will continue to use this. I have the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Mascara and I'm almost done with this. I used it today and there wasn't much product in it at all. It was like just enough to set my eyebrows down. So yeah, I'm gonna keep using this. It's literally on its, la on its last leg. So I'm excited to use this up. Then I have my NYX Butter Gloss. I lost this for the longest time and then I found it. But here are my markings here and then here and then here. This is in the shade Madeline, by the way. If you guys were wondering, I love this. It's such a perfect nude and there's nothing wrong with the formula. So I'm gonna keep this in my collection and use it up. Then I have the Winky Lux Diamond Powder. This is what I use almost every single day to set my under eyes instead of using concealer. And exciting news, I hit pan. Do you guys see that little teeny tiny bit of pan up there? I am so proud of it because I would literally just dip my brush in at one time, do one eye, dip my brush in at one time, do the other eye, and it was done. So I feel like I got awesome, awesome progress on it. This is in the shade medium, and it has like the slightest bit of glow. I just... I love this powder. Like, I'm gonna be sad when I'm done with this little sample because I love it so much. It works under my under eyes so well. Then a product I added in last time was the Lorac Front of the Line Pro Eyeliner. I love this eyeliner, but I just don't wear eyeliner that often. It's very black, very, very creamy. I have nothing bad to say about it whatsoever. I just don't use eyeliner very often, but that's gonna go back in my collection. Then I have the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. I use this so much, like I can't believe it's not gone yet. Literally, I wore it every time I wore makeup. Okay, there is quite a bit left, but you guys can see, like, it's so close. <laughs> I probably have like three more months though because this stuff lasts forever. You only use the tiniest bit and it lasts forever. So I definitely recommend this. This is like my favorite eyeshadow primer. I've only tried a few, like five or six, but that one's my favorite by far. And then a product that I cannot wait to get the full size of is the Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream to Brighten and Depuff. This little sample has lasted me so long and I swear there's more in here. I put this on every single morning whether I was doing makeup or not and this has lasted me like six months and there's still more product in here. And then my very last product, something I added in in September, is the Tony Moly Lip Tone Lip Care Stick. Is this in a shade Rose Blossom? And I love this. Like, I have no shame in the fact that I did not use it up. I used up quite a bit of it, but I just put it on every single morning and just whenever my lips are feeling dry and I just use it like a chapstick and underneath my lipsticks, if I know I'm gonna have a more drying lipstick, I'll put this on underneath because it's very lightweight. So that was like the longest <laughs> Project Pan video ever. So sorry if that was long, but I tried to run through the products quickly and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna definitely change up the way I do Project Pans this year for 2018 because I feel like doing this many products and all of them for the whole year was just too much for me so my plan is to do like two to three month project pans and then do like collab project pans in between so i already have one running right now which i'm going to be filming soon so you guys can check that out and it's also on my instagram too but yeah, make sure you guys stay tuned for a bunch more project panning and my empties coming up soon for the year of 2017. And I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I hope that you guys continue to love project pans and seeing me use up products. And yeah, just getting involved in this community has been so much fun. I've learned so much this year, my first year of project panning. So I hope to continue to learn more from everyone that I watch and all of you guys that comment and give me ideas on how to use products in different ways. That's been like a lot of fun for me. But yeah, make sure you guys stay tuned for more from me and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.